Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we are learning about the input property in Angular 17. So we are learning about the new concepts or the new features which has been introduced in the Angular 17. We are learning it. Now it's time for us to learn some more details about this input property. So what we have learned, we have in our counter, this is our example which we are trying to see it, right? Counter.Component.TS file. So in this counter.component.cs file, I have shown you that if you want your property as a required, we need to mention is the required true. And also we are having transform to the change value. So transform to the change value means, so we'll be using the transform property and it will be having the transform method. Okay, so it will call every time whenever you are the input property is changing. So this change value method will be fine. So this is one thing. So now uh, I want to explain you before continuing into this one about the type checking also. When you specify an input transform, the type of the transform functions parameter. So this change value is there, right? So the type of this one, so the whatever the return value it is trying to send this change value. So whatever the return value is trying to change. So that value determines the type of the values that can be set to the input in a template. So for example, let's say that so whatever the type of value you are trying to send it. So that will define it. So for example, let's say that. Uh, you are having the value so here we are sending the value as number right so that means uh, here let's say that uh, i am having a value which i will be so here we are using value into 10 means that is the reason it is 200 now for example let's say that in our counter.component.html file i will be doing something like plus 4 so then it will be 204 right so it is a 204 so it's correct it's fine so now what i want to explain you is so this counter, so whatever the value you are trying to send it in our app component.html. So we are trying to send it as an uh, counter. This one is an uh, value number, right? So this depends on the, uh, what I want to tell you is in the counter service. So this parameter, so this should be this parameter. For example, let's say that I am sending the value, uh, which could be something like uh, here I will send dollar of value, which is of type number okay and i will use the px here so now it has converted into a string now it see it is a string 20 px4 now here the number we are trying to send the number here and here also we can make it as a string okay so we can make it as a count as a string sorry count as a string or uh, and here i need to make it as an empty that's it now if you try to see here, so this has been, so still you are trying to send the value as counter as a number. Okay. Then also it is converted into a string. Why? Because that value depends on this one. So for example, let's say that I will be trying to send in such a way, uh, count of like this, I will try to send it. Now here type string is not assignable to the type number, but here it is not a number. So here, if you try to see this one is a string only. But I am trying to send that one as a string only, but it is still it is showing error. Why? Because the, the property, the type value which you are trying to send for this one depends on the parameter of this one. So whatever the parameter type is there, it depends on that one. So here, what do you need to send? Here we need to send the number that is, could be counter. Okay. So this is what I want to explain you. So type checking. So here, <coughs> so that is one thing. And another one which I want to explain you is about the built-in transformations. Angular includes two built-in transformation functions for the two most common scenarios. So one is boolean and the other one is number. So these are the two most common scenarios. For example, let's say that I want to send an another parameter show counter okay, is equal to false. So by default when you are trying to send show counter is equal to false. So this one is a string value. Now here this show counter, what I will do is in our counter.component.html, sorry, ts file, I will use at the rate input, okay, and here I will use show counter, show counter um, of type boolean or string, I will try to make it as a string is equal to false, let's try to take it as a false. Now this is the show counter, so which we are expecting that it should be a boolean. But I am trying to make it as a boolean or string. Why? Because so in order to accept that one value. So here what I can do is in our counter.html here I will write in such a way that do show counter message property if 
show counter is true so this one we need to show whenever it is true so here i will write the condition so these are all the things we will try to discuss so they were the new syntax and also about the if for the timing i am writing ng if here if it is show counter is there then only we need to show now if you see the output for this one ng show counter okay we are trying to send this value show counter is equal to false so we are sending this one and here we are getting this one as if i try i will try to uh, do it as a string or anything is equal to empty so now if you try to see this message input of show counter so what could be the issue here let's see angular and here we'll be having the counter show counter is equal to false we are able to see it as in show counter is equal to false now i will send it as something like as a string so let's see uh, maybe it could work or not we'll try to see um, i am sending it as a string okay now let's see whether it will work or not so still we are able to get this one as a false only so but here what i want to explain you is so here we can mention this one as transform okay of um, let's try to keep it as a boolean okay as a false and which we are trying to take this transform property right? let's try to see whether we will be able to get this one or not so here we are getting so here we can mention that transform boolean attribute okay so here i will be mentioning it as a boolean attribute now if you try to see component inputs must be uh, boolean attribute uh, must be standalone ng modules what is this it is showing error app component dot ts boolean attribute we have used it standalone true app counter is there very very i don't know how come this errors will come so here i am using counter component standalone true it's a standalone true only component must be components imports must be standard directory space sir so i am using boolean attribute it's an angular core importing again compiler counter component what is that i have written wrong here boolean attribute is the mainly thing i have written it and maybe we need to import common module or what so let's try to import imports common i don't know so well, let's try to check here so maybe the issue will go away no it's, it's an issue is in this app component ts file only app dot component dot ts file what could be the issue here in this one see sometimes it will behave it like that only okay let's try to uh, remove this common module whether it will come or not oh correct 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 common module it should be there why because i have used the same ng if right ng if i have used in this counter component that uh, here i have used ng if right so then we, that means it's a standalone thing so we need to import this common module we'll discuss about these all the things afterwards so now we are able to see wherever you know that that uh, we are sending it as a uh, boolean attribute or anything so then it depends on this one for example let's say that we are sending this one as a false right show counter as false now if i don't mention because of this reason we are not able to, if i don't mention this one as uh, like this so now still it is false we are trying to send in our app component or html it is as a false but still what we are able to get we are able to show it why because that false is coming as a string if you try to see in our angular thing it is coming as a string so now instead of that one if you mention this one as boolean attribute automatically if you are trying to send the string uh, main string value also it will be converted into a boolean value so there will be no problem so like this the number also will be there so if it is not a number means nan will be converted so that is nothing but number attribute okay so number attribute so these are the two only built in attributes that are available in the Mm, input thing input properties so these are the two things which we have learned it first one what we have learned it so the type checking so whatever the transform function is there the parameter type or whatever it is there the type should be the same thing when you are trying to send the data in the component and also we have learned about the two built-in transformations that is nothing but boolean attribute and the other one is a number attribute hope you understood about this concept
so i will commit this code enter code in our uh, new branch that is nothing but 7 hyphen video okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel and i will commit input property transforms that's it guys about this one so in the next video we will learn about the uh, concept how we can do implement the same input and uh, these things in a getter and setter functions and also you will try to see about the inherited property also how we can uh, specify the imports in the component decorator why we will be using the different scenario also you will try to see so to next we will we'll meet in the next video thank you guys